you believe Gronk never watches film? Yeah, I believe him. He said later in that statement that he sure he watched it when the team watched it, but as for him at home alone in the you know in the bunker like Jaws used to be, no way. When you got a guy like Tom Brady and you've got a coach like Bill Belichick, all they have to do is tell you literally play to play, who to block, where to run, and then guess what? You're gonna jump up over somebody and catch the football. It's why he's the greatest tight end in NFL history. This does not surprise Monica. me at all. This is where you got to know your learning style. Sometimes film can trip people up. I'm watching all this stuff and it doesn't necessarily translate. He's probably one of the few people who is talented enough to get out on the floor, make the reads, and talk to my team. I'm good. Yeah, I actually did some research on this, and it is mostly true, but he was leaning into the character of Gronk, having a little fun, keeping it loose in this conversation. It wasn't quite loose enough, though, because I can report that he had a line in waiting for the Manning brothers, and the tone and the time just wasn't there. But he said, hey, I heard you guys talking about bugging the locker rooms. It's true. In fact, your little thing was so small and white that Bill Belichick tried okay. to sign it. Okay, all right, it. wait, wait. So Unfortunately, <laughs> uh, he did not get the line in because he didn't think the tone was right. This is reporting? I don't understand. I mean, you, you, you have a source close to Gronk. I got Gronk. sources. Have, yeah. Uh, I, I, excuse me. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Who got sent on the Gronk cruise for a work assignment? All right. All right. So wait. So we wanted, so he had a joke lined up for that, but the whole bugging yes. of the room, you know, that's one yes, of these things that you say and when you, when, when you get called on, you say, well, that's just a joke, but you believe there's any truth there when the Mannings are saying it, Sarah? No, I don't think so. I think they're buying, they're, you know, they're playing along with all the stereotypes about New England and everything else. And Tip Kalish, I'll bring you in here. I, you know, I think they were having fun. I think Gronk, uh, as, as Sarah said, uh, is leaning into that character. But I will say this, against Dallas, he wasn't open on any of his catches. He just goes up and gets the ball <laughs> anyway. So how much film study do you really need to do to go out there, run your route, and overpower everybody? How much film study do you do after a typical around the horn, Kalish show? Do you, do, do you <laughs> drill down on maybe some of the Aaron Very little on today's Yes, show. it's very clear. Very little. It's very clear. It's an occupational <laughs> hazard, some might say. We'll move on. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.